okay, strobe's coming out. Okay, so let's do the equivalent shutter speed. All right, I love this idea. All right, let's do this. All right, let's start with 30th of a second shutter, right? ISO, we'll do 100, and we have aperture, and we're gonna do like this, we'll do like this, and I'm gonna take my red one, just dry erase, yay, ha! And we'll do my aperture at 2.8. All right, here we go. All right, follow along here, follow along here. Bam, 60th of a second, 100 ISO, bam, what is that? So I want equal, equal, equal exposure. Nothing's changed. All I'm doing is I'm taking these three things that I know in my head and I want the same exact outcome exposure wise, not what it looks like imagery wise, but density on the CCD. All right. So let's just take a look. The only thing I'm changing, this is the same. So we don't have to worry about this, right? 30 to 60. So we know I'm letting in more or less light. I'm gonna let it in more or less light. So I've changed 30 to 60th of a second. Less. less, right. So now what do we know about F2.8? We gotta what with that, we gotta, so if we're letting in less light, we have to open this up, right? So what F-stop would that be? Mm. 1.4, yeah. All right, so let me let me just you know I'll do I'll do this little cheat on the side here. So let's just start with one four, right? Two point eight, right? F four, uh, and then we got five point six. We got F eight, eleven, sixteen, twenty two, and we'll do there. And then if you notice, one four. Oh shit, you know, there's something in between here. Fuck, wait, no, two, eight, four, five, six, two, eight, five, six, four. No, 1.8, I'm sorry. 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, excuse me. 1.8, sorry. Now, the reason I caught this is because I know about the rule. And here's the rule, right? So I'm not perfect, but I'm teaching this, right? it doubles for the most part, right? So every other one doubles itself. So if we take 1.8 plus 1.8, you're gonna get really close to four. If you take 2.8 plus 2.8, five, six, right? And you take eight and you double it, right? So eight, 16, five, six, 11, right? Two, eight, four, one, eight. So that's another way of knowing in your head where you're at, right? So it, it, the numbers don't always equal out to be completely even, but if you just know how they relate. So I go from 2.8 to 1.8, I let in more light, I have equivalent exposure. All right, let's do another one. Let's do a hard one. A hard one. Hard one. So hard. Shutter speed, here we go. 8,000. ISO 400. Aperture F8. Boom, drop that shutter speed down to 1,000. Ooh, now let's not, I won't too early bust your brains on that, hold on. We won't do that many stops. Oh. We'll do 2,000. 2,000, I know I did do that. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna change the ISO, all right? I'll change the ISO too. Stand by, 200. Oh, what, 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 what aperture did I say we were at? F8? F8. Okay. All right, so here we go. So if I was on a test and I was gonna do some scratch notes, right? Let's just correct for this number first, right? So look at my ISO, 400 to 200. I made it less sensitive, right? All right, so if I make it less sensitive, what does this have to be? Right, now don't come over here yet. We're gonna do one step at a time, right? So let's just equal this out right now. So let's take 200, right? So for, for this, let's just look at this right here right now, right? Ignore this right now, right? So 
400 ISO. We're making the ISO less sensitive at 200, which means we have to let in more light. This is one stop of light. Almost, come back over here. There you go. So five, six. All right, but we're not there yet, right? Because we went 8,000, 2,000. All right, so do we make it, is this less sensitive or more sensitive to light? 8 thousandths of a second, or 2 thousandths of a second. More light, All right. So if I wanna have the F8 equivalent, I'm laying more light in right here, right? By how many stops? It doubles, right? 2,000, 4,000, 4,008, right? So two stops, right? But I, and then here's what you got to th think in your head. I'm making it more or less sensitive. I'm making it from 8,000 to 2,000. I'm making it more sensitive to light, right? So I'm letting in two more stops of light, right? But I don't want two more stops because I want to have the equal. I want to have equal, right? I want to have equal exposure. So, oh my God, I'm letting in two more stops of light. Screw that. I'm going to adjust my aperture. You ain't going to get me, Mr. Light. Make light your bitch. We're going up. We're making, we got two more stops of sensitivity. We're letting more lights in. We got to go up on the f-stop. There you go. Five, six, eight to 11, voila. So that right there, equivalent exposure would be f11. Tricky, because I changed two, two variables on you, right? So basically, you know, if I have a thousand, right? And then I have, let's say F16, right? And then ISO, let's just call this ISO uh, 100, right? And I'm gonna make this down to, um, yeah, so here we go. And we'll keep this, at, We'll keep this at oh, six. All right, we're gonna do ISO to 400, right? And we're gonna change the shutter speed to 500, to 250. What's this number? There you go. Nah. <laughs> So 100 to 400 gets two more two more steps of light, right? Two, made it sensitive. Then 1,000 to 250, was that right? Holy shit. Now I gotta check my 255 to 1,000. So that's two stops here. It's actually not right. Two stops there. Well, no, that's right. Two stops, because yeah, it's equal. Yeah, because a little less than two stops down. So these balance each other out. So you kind of eh, eh. So I don't want to be confusing but I got your mind working, right? I got your mind working about exposure, right? And how the exposure can be different things, right? Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a little bit of a like there on the little thumbs uppy. And if you're really interested in seeing more from Film Sandwich, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always updated every time we post a video. Also, we are currently an unsubscribed channel, so all the reviews here, everything that we do is all unpaid and comes out of our own pockets. So what we've done is we've put links to all the products that we review and use in our videos. And if you buy the products through those links, we get a little bit of ching ching so we can keep this channel going. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.